Hi guys, this is Paul from PA Brew News, and we're out here in kind of a half rainy, kind of half snowy day. Uh, apparently the world didn't end, and uh, and if it did, nobody told me because I live in the woods. So there you go. When I go to upload this, when I travel to a computer to upload this, and uh, and Owen's there, I'll, I'll start wondering. But uh, right now we're going to do some stuff. We're going to do some IPAs. We're going to do some IP freaking A's. And I don't have a bottle opener today. I just have a glass because we're going to be doing some certain type of cans. Right now, can uh, some Sly Fox. This is their 113 Route 113 IPA Indian Pale Ale, crafted by uh, crafted in Pennsylvania by Sly Fox Brewery, I believe Phoenixville. Phoenixville is where they're located. Um, Crafted and brewed, uh, craft, uh, brewed and canned by Sly Fox Brewing Company, um, Pottstown, PA. Um, excuse me, Pottstown, PA. SlyFoxBeer.com. Indian uh, 113 Indian Pale Ale is a complex beer. is brewed with a variety of British, German, Pacific Northwest hops. Every sip will remind you just why you fell in love with our craft beer in the first place. The IBUs is 113 IBUs, holy mother, and the alcohol by volume is 7 percent. Sly Fox beer. Um, general warnings. Uh, I didn't realize they were from Pottstown. I actually thought they were from near at um. What was it? Near Phoenixville, that kind of area, but. It says pots down, so rock and roll. I was wrong. No light getting into this brew, and it's frothing up, as you can see. No skunky light getting into that. Not changing the hops at all. I don't know if it actually light actually turns the hops. I believe in in a way that the light when it hits the hops, it actually transforms the hops. Really, it makes the hops produce a different type of um, chemical or aroma and that in turn turns the beer um, instead of actually the light turning the hops. Whoa. Um, big huge huge citrus notes off this. Grapefruit and orange smashed together right up your freaking nose. Of course a big multi base. A nice nice amber a light amber color to it. Pow. 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 <laughs> okay. Pow, pow, and pow once more. A huge malt presence is there, but dwarfed by a huge bitter presence from the hops. It's not a complex hops. It's not a complex bitterness. You get a slight pine resin in the back, and you get this really tight, bitey bitterness from the citrus hops. And the hops just stay and stay and stay. They're still there. They're still biting. They're still there. It's it's in a way it's I would say it's hard, but not impossible to brew a, an IPA without the character when you add that many hops. But it has been done. I had Red Hook and it was watery, horrible, mass-produced crap. I actually dumped it out before I finished it. The same thing with uh, Long Trails. I enjoy RPA. this. I think this is, uh, this is definitely a good ale. It's flavorful, full body, nice bitterness, wraps around. Nothing, nothing really too extreme, nothing to this. Very, very good. I'm going to give this another 8 out of 10. It's another solid 8 out of 10. Very good rating. Excellent beers. Sly Fox just, they, they, they're, they're extremely consistent in their quality. They're very good. Very, very good. And I hope to have many, 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 many more beers from Sly, Sly Fox. Um, Sly Fox is, is, is excellent. So 8 out of 10. This has been Paul 
from PA Brew News, and I hope to see you again. Cheers.